Hi everybody! Today I will introduce to you about the finance plan and notion template that I created to help you organize, control, and manage your income and expenses every month of a year. This is just a simple template, but it is efficient in your management and tracking your finance. As you see here, this is the homepage of the Finance Planner Notion Templates. This may include the three sections. The first section is the goal of the year. Second one is monthly finance planners. And the last one is monthly income and expense report. Some of the work I put inside the opening and closing square brackets. This is the place where you customize your Notion Templates. For example, I can change the year 2024. With the first session of the page go up here this is the place for you write your going in the next column you have the from day to day this is area for you customize your day when you click here you just see the start date if you want to show the end date which is the day you want your goals completed so you will turn on this button and then you see here it will appear the area for you to put your end date for example i just to december 31 2024 and then you will see here. For example, my goal is save ten thousand dollars to buy a new car. With the third columns, you will see the status. In the status, you have the three options for in progress, complete, and not yet. You can choose any of them to show your goal status. In the right order, with the five stars, the most important, less important, not too much important. Depends on how your goal is important to you, and you choose one of them. And the last column, this is the place for you write your note. Just write everything in detail about your goal. If you want to add more goal, just click on new and then input your new goal here. On the second session, this is the monthly finance planner. I create a chairman which is for you to follow up and track in your income and expenses of every month. For example, when I click on month of July, a new page of this month gonna pop up. I will open in the full page for you easy to see. The beginning of the page, in these areas, you can customize your emotion. You have many options of the emoji. You can choose any emoji here. Do you feel tired or you got sick or you you sad, angry, cry, or are you happy? Just choose one of them to show how you're feeling. In the code area, you can customize the codes by changing to another motivation code you want. In the goal area, you have the toggle list. Click on the toggle button and it will show the goal in here. You can customize your goals by writing your goal in here. For example, change the goal one to saving $2,000. If you want to add more goals, put the mouse at the end of the last goal and then you click enter. Write your goal in here. Go sick. And the right side, you have the Google Calendar. When you click on the links, it's gonna let you to your Google Calendar account. When you scroll down, you will see the timetable. This the table help you to track the day of a month. When you hover on the each day of a month, you will see the plus icons pop up on the left side. And when you click on the icon, the new page gonna pop up. On the title, you can type the task you want to do for this day for example i will type pay electric bill you can add the icon money to this one when you click anywhere outside the page you will see your task you need to do appear here it is an easy way to help you follow and track your tasks you need to do every month when you scroll down you're gonna see expenses of month in this part you're gonna see necessary market shopping friends family eat out Kiss, gas, laundry, doctor, school, work, and unexpected expenses. With the necessary table, you're gonna see the date, which is the place for you choose the date. Necessary name, which is the place for you write the necessary thing you're gonna pay for this month. Expense, which is the place for you input the amount of money you're gonna pay for the necessary things. With the stated columns, you're gonna have two options, pay or not pay yet. Choose one of them to show your status of necessary things. And the notes column, which is the place for you write something in detail which concerns to the necessary things. To add new, just let click on the this row and the new row is gonna show up and the bottom of the spend column you're gonna see the sum which means the total money gonna be show up automatically after you input the amount of money in each row for example I input $500 for the room rental and $100 for utilities and you're gonna see the $600 automatically show up here similarly with the rest of table of the page 
depends on your needs. Just customize the table as you want. In the last session, monthly income and expense report, you have a 12 months income before tax, tax, tip, in case your job includes a tip or not, income after tax plus tip, expense, how much you save for a month, how much the check you make, or how much the cash you make for a month, and the notes for you write something. At the bottom of the table, you're gonna see the sum on each column, which means the total money of the money you input in each column. For example, I save $2,000 in January and $1,500 in February and you're gonna see the total money show up here intermediately. So it's easy for you to follow and check how much money you make, how much money you spend and how much money you save for a month and a year. To get the asset to the template, I put the link in the description below. After you make a purchase and download the zip file, you're gonna see a PDF file inside the zip file. This PDF gonna help you to get the link with a clearly instruction how to import the finance plan your Notion template to your Notion dashboard. If you see my videos helpful, please don't forget to give me a like or subscribe for this video can reach out to people who didn't watch this video yet to get an efficient finance plan and Notion templates to you. Thank you so much for watching.